Hello guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about battery distribution. Here I got the PSE triple play. Recently got this one from True Audio. This is a power supply to convert AC power to plug this guy into here. Alright, so let's open up this thing and so first of all... It's called the triple play because it has three different input sources where you can get your power from. So it could be a battery, two different batteries, and AC power. It also has a meter over here where it tells you uh, what's up. Alright, so inside the bag, I'm guessing it comes with the manual, tells you what is everything for, all the type of connectors, amps, all the information that you need to know about this power supply. I comes with I bought this one, this is uh, you, you have to buy them separately but I bought it so I could use the power from any wall plug and I might choose I got one of these cups uh, plug it in here and let me get a battery grab these type of batteries uh, this is a uh, lithium so over here as soon as I plugged it in it tells you the voltage 15.2 and then to know the amps you're using uh, you can't in the middle it's off all the way to the left uh, all the USB, uh, only the USB powers, the connections are working. We got three, we got this one over here and two over here. All the way to the right, everything's power. All of these inputs are hot and in the middle position means off. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. It's just a battery distribution system. Similar to my BDS, uh, this guy keeps one on at all times, the one with the blue circle. But yeah, this is the main feature why I wanted to get this guy because you can have three different power coming out of three different things. So potentially you could have three batteries in all of this. Once we get to not a functional voltage, it will switch to the other one and vice versa. So why is this useful, you might be wondering. Well, some of the shows I do are stationary. I don't have to be in the bag at all times. So, and I use my card mainly for those. I can just plug into the wall and then whenever we go to a location where we can use power, I will have to use my batteries. So that way I can save the life of my batteries and use AC power when I can. That's the main reason why I bought this one because it cycles to them. Uh, Funny enough, this is a remote audio cob, <laughs> like the main competitor. This plugs into the wall, this plugs into here, yeah, this plugs into your triple play. Right now it's off, but if I turn it on, it's going to see 15.1. And you might be wondering, well, what happens if you add the battery? This is a 14.4, and these batteries are 14.4, right? I'm going to shut it off, and I plug this guy. Now I'm going to turn it on again. It's using the 15.1. Okay, see that? So it's always using the one that has the most power. Once I lose power, it's going to jump back to the battery. So that's pretty neat and useful, especially for a little car syrup like the one I have. And this is the main reason why I got it. So yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my cart, my bag setup. I currently have the BDS system. I'm going to replace it with this one and then we'll see how that looks. This is my current black bag setup. I know you guys have, haven't seen many of these upgrades. I got the dashboard from this dashboards, sound dashboards. I got the RF distribution. I got another pair of... Uh, LR receivers, two SRCs, and I'm using this LMB as IFB communications with my uh, boom operator. Uh, this is my current power supply, the BDS. So to make this simple, I'm gonna just take everything out of this bag right now. So you guys are in for a treat. I'm gonna unplug everything from this bag. I have two LR receivers. I also recently bought a regular Comtech, uh, just when I do those small gigs. And I don't want to bring around this guy. LMB Electrosonics Transmitter. This is my PSC RF Multi. This allows me to use those big antennas that you've seen on, on film. And each one of these plugs into my receivers. And the bag is empty. So I love the dashboard. It really helps keep everything super nice and tight and clean. But don't need this because the triple play has a display over here. I think I'm going to get rid of the dashboard completely. This is what we care about. This is my old power distribution. This is the BDS V4U. I'm going to tell you what each one of these things is powering. This long ass cable is powering my Comtec base station, the big Comtec station. This guy is powering my 633. This other one is powering my, my RF distribution thingy. These two are for my SRCs. 
is the BDS for you. you can power six different things one single USB port uh, you get the remote app so you can know how many amps you're using on the triple play substantially bigger uh, you get three USB ports not just one and you get nine you can power nine things with the triple play this thing can be powered by three different sources with the this guy you can only have one this guy has an a meter already built in into the chassis and this guy you need to get the RM remote which is also expensive so which one to get i'm not gonna get rid of the bds because planning on buying a second kit and i'm gonna be powering my kit with that with this power distribution with this guy it's gonna be my main power distribution now because i can plug into the wall and use that so i'm excited to get this into play and see what's going on so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna rig everything back i love my dashboard but this guy is useless now and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of my i'm not gonna be using my dashboard no more i should have shown you how to put it on but so now you gotta unscrew here 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 and here this one over here now we save those screws back in here so we're gonna need them in the future and just remember the long ones were for this thing back here all right guys so i'm gonna show you how the triple play looks like and i'm gonna set up all my bag at the same time that's in place not going anywhere so yeah this is basically how it would look this guy do the same thing power supply all righty so now this is how the bag looks I got the power here, uh, it's powering everything as it should, even the recorder is telling me voltage over here is where I can decide if I want to use my portable comp trick or if I want to use this one here and this is the USB for my CL12 so yeah this is how it works now I'm, I'm running on batteries right now but then if I get to set and I want to plug it in I just open this up, grab my power supply plug it in here, hook it on and now it's gonna always read 14.9 and then if I'm not using it I just unplug it alrighty so that, that's how this machine is gonna be powered on I hope this video was useful so you guys can see the different power supplies I still highly recommend the BDS the BDS is also good but I like the idea of have the AC power running alright thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in the next one